Hi guys, welcome back to Creative Frenzy. Today I wanted to share with you uh, just a cute little technique that you can uh, create with masking tape from the Dollar Store. I just got mine at Dollar Tree. You get them in different widths, which is kind of nice for this kind of project. And uh, you can have fun with it. You could use paint, you could use markers, you can use uh, alcohol ink markers, stencils, stamps, stains, whatever you choose, as long as it doesn't come off when you go to apply the tape to your project, you're golden. <laughs> so uh, one of the applications is these cards. Uh, I've also used it in my art journal. Let's see, Ooh, here we go. Uh, in my art journal, so on this page, I've used it in the background here, and then I've used it here in the background you probably can't see that too well and then I've also used it in the bottom so as you can see I had a lot of fun I used some acrylic markers um, just a bunch of different supplies and just doodling basically it's really not rocket science it's very simple to do but I find it's a lot of fun and it's very relaxing and I've been trying different techniques seeing what I could come up with and I wanted to share it with you. So here I also used it. Hold on, let me see. Yes. So I also used it here in this journal page. So it's, I don't know, it's a simple, simple idea, but a lot of fun. Um, most of us have washi tape, I'm sure. I have a plethora of washi tapes. I will admit I don't use them very often, but that's because I don't always find um the right color or the right kind of artistic look to it so i wanted to get something that i could use um you know more artistically more for art journaling or for wash uh, for junk journals so excuse the glare because this is on plastic so all i do is tape um my masking tape onto some acetate sheets I will say though if you do it on acetate there's a coating on there so it does leave this kind of weird coating on it um, and then you have to use a glue stick because it won't stick obviously so but I don't know if you can see it and it's not sticky at this point so I use a glue stick to attach it which kind of defeats the purpose of having tape but I did do some onto packaging and we're going to see if this works. So here I did some stenciling. Um, just some very basic, very soft colors. I thought it would be kind of cool. And this one I just used my Sharpies. So I'm hoping this comes off nicely without leaving any residue. So we'll see. Oh yeah, that's much better. That's actually sticky. Okay, so now we're going to use it. Um... What are we going to use it for? Well, let's do a journal page. All right. So let's do one in here. So if you're re reusing an older book or, you know, repurposing another uh, journal, <laughs> which is what I'm using here, it's a wreck this journal. I've been working in this for all, a while now. And, you know, my daughters have written in here and drawn in here. And so, but I don't always want to get my paints out. So I thought maybe, you know, this time we could use some um, tape. So I'm going to use this soft color one. And we'll see how well that covers. It's okay if some of the um, color from behind pops through because it just adds another dimension to it, which is kind of nice. Um, what I do uh, also like about this is you can store these flat instead of in rolls. So if you wanted to, you could do these on binder, like protector, page protector sheets, uh, and then store them in a binder. So you can make a bunch ahead of time. You know, you could do a theme or whatever. If you have a set of stamps that you really like, you can obviously do something like that. 
oh, excuse the sound. Let's see how this just, it covers up nicely and you can, you know, turn one upside down so it's not a continuous pattern all the way through. And then I'm going to do some more and you can pick it off different side. You can mix and match um, your colors and things like that, whatever you choose. You can go sideways, which would be kind of cool too. So I have before just gone over the edge a bit because it doesn't really matter to me. So I do save my um, <laughs> painter's tape when I do my painting on my um, easel. So I attach my, you know, paper to my easel and then I um, save the tape afterwards. If you find it doesn't stick very well, just use your glue stick. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. So like that you can rip it to give it a different kind of edge. Don't have to be precious with it. Again, if it's not sticking, just use, you know, your glue stick. <laughs> In this case, it's not sticking. Which does happen. I mean, you know, you just have to be careful because this does smear the. I just used, you know, my ink pads, but it doesn't always work as a, a background, which is probably why you should be using, you know, paints. Acrylic paints probably work better for this. But you know, that's what this is all about, experimentation, just seeing what works and what doesn't work. Not everything will work, it's okay. So now we need something there. Um, I don't know what. Hmm. I did get some uh, Dina Wakely stamps. This is all very, you know, linear, so maybe we'll do a circle and And it does not have to be perfect. Art journaling is all about experimentation, which is what I love about it. And it's just having fun and creating different moods and the like. Excuse the sound. <laughs> Let's make, create some space here. All right. We'll come back to that piece. These are brand new, so I'm just gonna get whatever coating they put on there. They get kind of sticky on the other side too, so it's like, yeah. So. I'll just do it this way. It's okay if it's not a perfect print. I'm not overly concerned. As long as one of them turns out nicely. All that really matters. I could use one of my own faces, but I got these stamps in the mail not that long ago, so I wanted to use them. They're a lot of fun. I love Dina Wakely style, so. All right, um, we'll cut some out.
apparently. Cutting takes a lot of concentration. I can't talk and cut at the same time. That's okay. Okay, so because my background is very, very light, I want to sort of keep these ones in a light kind of way. All right. So we are going to, or I am going to, use my highlighters to color in. But I want to do a bit of a contrast. Maybe not a contrast, contrast, but you know what I mean. So using my highlighter, because I have plenty of different colors, and just coloring in little bits here and there. What I like about this is because it creates sort of a watercolor effect because highlighters are water soluble. All right. But I like that you can go like this and just make them sort of blend together a bit. And it looks like you've been busy watercoloring. And you can do a bunch of different colors but they're all nice and soft, sort of pastel-y, like the background, so, which is what I like about it. These ones I got uh, online. Um, some rosy cheeks that's pretty much all there is to it really not much else I'm just gonna glue them in <laughs> I get stuff stuff all over it that's okay Hold it in place. Now, if this bothers you, you can obviously trim it. You don't have to have it over to the next page. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll marry the two pages together, or I just go over top of it. I'm not overly concerned. You don't always want like little bits left over. There we go. That is not too bad. Let's see. What else have we got? I do have a bunch of other things here. I also got this one, which is kind of cool. It's a script of Dina Wakeley's, which I also like. I like this circle one. Do some of that. Now my desk is completely full. <laughs> it's amazing how quickly that happens. Just want to use half. Okay. There. Mm. 
here or here? Well, yeah, we'll, we'll do it right there. There we go. Look how that flows. Looks good. I like that. It's nice and soft. You don't always have to use all the bright colors and You know, sometimes you have to take chances. Thinking outside the box, trying something different. That's just the way it is. If I can cut this apart. goodness this does not want to stick okay this is where we take out the good stuff so one of the downfalls of masking tape and having the ink on it you know you need a little bit more glue <laughs> that's okay we can do it this way too Again, I, when I do my art journal pages, I don't always think ahead of how I'm going to do the whole thing. So, <laughs> we tend to just do things and try and see what works and what doesn't work. You, know, you have to take a chance. See what works. It's all about having fun and experimenting. It's not about perfection. Just showing different techniques, different things you can do. There we go. There. Done. There's the page. There you go. So it's subtle in this case, but it's really cool how it came together. I really do enjoy that. So again, you know, create your own masking tape or washi tape from masking tape. And uh, I said in a previous video that washi just means uh, tape in Japanese. That is incorrect. That is not what it means. It means two different fibers or something like that. And it's, you know, that's what gives it the the strength and things like that and the beauty of that paper is what creates uh, lovely washi tapes so I was incorrect so I will correct myself here and I will say that you know of all the washi tape that I do have creating my own does give me a lot of satisfaction so and it's a lot of fun like why would you not so here I will show you again you know some different uh ones that I've done. Excuse the glare, but this is just with acrylic paint and paint markers, same as this one, and just playing. And here I did stain and uh, stamps. So you can use stamps on these. It's perfect for it. I hope you enjoyed this and you will try some of your own washi tape. Again, not a new idea. I'm just having fun and, um, you know, hopefully you will have some fun with it too. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.